Hey, what's going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to tell you about one of the best stats available out there for Battlefield 2042 um, for almost every single weapon and attachment and gadget in Battlefield 2042 that there is. And I'm going to share it with you guys. It's a weapon stats that most of the creators actually use it. And I just thought it's something that every Battlefield 2042 player should be informed about. And that's what we're going to do in today's video and once we're finished talking about that i'm going to talk about how hard is that going to be for studios like dice and all the studios working on battlefield 2042 to make a solid stat system when only one person can make something this accurate so if you enjoy the content guys do make sure to leave a like under the video and comment down below let me know what you think about the video make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're not already because 80 to 90 percent of my viewers actually are not subscribed to the channel you might think you are but you're actually not so go ahead and make sure you're subscribed to the channel as well with all that said guys let's get right into the video so the stat system that we're going to talk about today is called the Soros stats or Soros scribbles Soros spreadsheet whatever you want to call it it's done by some fellow Battlefield player called Soro. And I have to say, this video is not a promotion video. I do not know who Soro is. I have no idea who he is. He probably doesn't even know I exist. And it's just something that I thought you as Battlefield players really need to know about because it's really accurate and it really fills the gap of the inaccurate and inappropriate in-game stat system, I would say. All I really wanted to do was kind of let you know about this, be informed about it, and use it to your advantage to kind of know what your attachments are, what attachments should you use, and what not. So that's everything that goes behind this video. There's no paid promotion, there's nothing. And all the credit to this spreadsheet really goes to Sorrow. Also, the link to this spreadsheet is down in the description. You can just go and check it out yourself. So as you can see, there's every single weapon and attachment in 2042, even vault weapons, in this spreadsheet and that's really amazing you see everything is here as you can see the damage is there the btk which stands for bullets to kill is there uh, you've got damage per distance drop off you've got your fire rate there's everything explained and explained based on ammo types because that's what's making the differences in battlefield 2042 and as you can see this dude used some different colors colors that actually attract your attention to categorize ammo types for example, I believe high power is always in red. Standard issue is always in green. Uh, the close combat ammo is always in light blue, something like that. Subsonic is always in dark blue or it's a purple thing. I don't know. Armor piercing is always yellow. So everything is categorized into color and based on different ammo types because that's what's making the differences in most of the situations in Battlefield 2042, the ammo types. Are key. So I really wanted to thank Sorrow for what's done here. It's really something that 2042 lacks big time. You really get confused going into the stats and game and looking at things like what's a heavy suppressor? Like what's the difference between wrapped suppressor and like the 6KU? What's the difference between type 4 and PB heavy suppressors? There's really nothing in the game saying anything about these attachments instead of some pros and cons that literally are useless because you don't know exactly what the attachment is doing and because of that that is why i really thought every battlefield 2042 player needs to know about this and i'm pretty sure you guys have seen the charts and tables here in many content creators videos and yes here's what they use and to use it it's basically really simple from the bottom left menu you open it up you find your attachment you find your weapon that you want and then you just compare everything that there is about that weapon the wrap suppressor all the suppressors every single attachment for muzzle is there every single ammo type is there the fire everything like everything you need is in here and i have to say it, it really is a worthy weapon stats for battlefield 2042 and i really appreciate it if someone or a small group of people can actually make something this accurate that basically meets every single need of any Battlefield 2042 content creator, let alone the players, then how is it possible that studios like DICE working on a Battlefield game are not able to deliver a mediocre stat system? I'm not talking about anything this accurate or this detailed. Just something that works. They literally couldn't deliver that in 2042. After three years, the stats are still confusing. It literally means nothing. Nobody knows what firepower means. 
It's definitely not damage. We all know that it's not about damage. It's a combination of so many variants, but we do know for a fact that it's not about damage. Nobody knows what handling means. And the stat system is just a big question mark. One of the most important things for the next Battlefield game, whatever the name is going to be, Battlefield 6, Battlefield 2025, Bat Company 3 even, some people want to hear that. Whatever the name is, we need some reliable and capable stat system just like this one. Even if you can't deliver that in-game, like even if that's so hard for you, which I do not believe it is, you can just make a more detailed and accurate stat system out of the game. For example, like something in a browser, let's say, like this one. Again, if someone like Sorrow can do this, then every single studio behind a AAA title like Battlefield can actually do this. And they can do this very much better. Like there are so many people working there. You don't need to categorize everything by color. You can just do it in a more fashion way. Sorrow's job is amazing, but that's just amazing for one person, not for a goddamn studio. And a studio with all the resources like DICE, they can actually do so much better. And that is exactly what they should be doing for the next Battlefield game. I'm pretty sure you guys have suffered a lot from Battlefield 2042 stat system. And I didn't really know about Sorrow's stats until a few months ago, uh, where I saw some other content creators using it. And then I was like, dude, this thing is just crazy. And there were so many question marks, even for myself, about so many of the attachments of Battlefield 2042. It's not about being a content creator. It's about having some reliable source. And we didn't have that reliable source, making things really confusing in our brains. Like my concept of wrapped suppressor and 6KU was something completely different a few months ago. My assumption about subsonic was completely different. But with all that, I just still hate heavy suppressors, really. I believe the muzzle velocity penalty is just ridiculous and it's unbearable. Personally, I just hate weapons with low muzzle velocity. And in Battlefield 2042, muscle velocities are just a bit harsh and away from reality, I would say. In the game of Battlefield 4, things were just a bit more realistic. You could feel a weapon with lower muzzle velocity and that could really hurt you. In Battlefield 4, suppressors only lowered the muzzle velocity. And that in Battlefield 4 could actually make the difference of life and death, I would say. So with all that said, I still believe that DICE can really do better DICE really should do better for the next game. We need a solid stat system and it should be really, really better even than what we've got with Sorrow's spreadsheet because DICE, a huge studio with huge resources, is going to be behind this. Go down in the comment section, let me know what you think about today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed and hope it was helpful. Just play around a bit with the stats and you'll get used to it. The thing is pretty straightforward and again, I appreciate Sorrow for what he did. And that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed and hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching and until next time, guys, stay cool.